Today I'm going to make a breadfruit salad. First you boil the breadfruit in water with a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of olive oil. When it comes to a boil, you add your other ingredients. I need to throw out the water so that the breadfruit itself wouldn't suck up the water and when that happens it's not as firm as it should be. I just throw out the water and it looks good. So I'm gonna wait for it to get cold and I'll peel off the skin and then cut it up in pieces like you would do a mashed potato. Breadfruit salad. I'm going to peel the breadfruit. Let me cut them up in small pieces as I go along. To make it easier, I just will peel all the breadfruit one time. I'm going to pour it in this bigger bowl. I'm going to add my blended peppers, yellow, red peppers, garlic, and onions to it. So that's like one tablespoonful, two tablespoonful. That. A dash of black pepper a tablespoonful of mustard Hellman's mayonnaise Two, three tablespoonful of Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm 
mix it together. Mixing all of them together. There you go, folks. This is the breadfruit salad. It looks delicious, right? This is my first time making breadfruit salad. I always make potato salads, but this year for Thanksgiving, I decided I'm going to try something different. Instead of potato salad, I'm making breadfruit salad. Okay, I'm gonna taste it to see if it tastes the same as the potato salad. Normally we taste in our hands when we are cooking, so I'm going to do the same thing. Wow, it's delicious. Okay, so, so it could remain cool and the flavor would remain because of all the stuff that I added, the mayonnaise and the mustard. I am going to put it back in the fridge to keep it cool until I'm ready to go to the luncheon. Bye, this is Jen. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Please leave your comments below. Thank you.